this in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna Hey guys, Rich here from Tacoma Network. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new Yodaverse 4th Gen TRD Pro Grill. This is inspired by the new upcoming 2024 Toyota Tacoma with the heritage style grill usually found on the top end TRD Pro model. This grill comes complete with two styles of badging, heritage, like you see here, or the T option. Also comes with, with proper Raptor style lights and additional daytime running lights on either side of the grill. In this video, I'll show you what comes in the box from Yodiverse, how this installs on my 2022 TRD off-road, including some wiring and my overall thoughts on this new grill. This giant box from Yodiverse measures 41 inches by 14 by 4. We'll let the ProTech Mordax do the honors. Everything came nicely wrapped with lots of bubble wrap, including all of the included accessories. Inside the box, you'll find the TSS garnish, the optional T-bracket for the Toyota emblem, wiring for the daytime running lights, wiring for the Raptor style lights, individual Toyota letters that appear 50% larger than the old third gen TRD Pro Grill, and finally, the grill. The quality overall in this grill is top notch. You have much larger grill openings versus the old TRD Pro Grill, a place for the included TSS garnish, side LED daytime running lights, and a proper group of three Raptor style lights that are built into the grill. You have the wide space here for the Toyota Heritage lettering, or if you want, you can place the included bezel for your stock Toyota T emblem. I'll be installing the Heritage lettering on mine. On the flip side, you can see the construction of this grill with all of the hardware holding everything together. You have the wiring leads for both lighting options, the two daytime running lights, and the three Raptor style lights. I'm opting for the Toyota Heritage version of this grill, so let's mount all of the letters, laying each letter under the grill, and adding just two screws for each letter. If your truck is equipped with a TSS sensor, you can easily remove the plastic block and install the TSS garnish to the front of the grill. Still curious why it's called a garnish though. Once we have the grill installed, we will install the TSS sensor. For the install, you'll need a ratchet, a 10mm socket, clip retaining tool, needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, wire stripper and crimpers, along with a couple of supplies like an Adafuse and some zip ties. Let's go out and get this grill installed. Removing your grill is easy. Just two plastic clips and two 10 millimeter bolts hold on the grill. Now removing the two wire clips holding the TSS sensor wire if equipped. I opted to not unplug the TSS sensor as I've read that that can lead to connectivity issues. Removing the sensor requires four Phillips head screws to be removed, two smaller ones on the top and bottom, and two larger ones on the left and right. You will have two zip ties also holding the wire on to the grill. I just clipped those for now and laid the sensor off to the side. A simple tilt out and up motion will release the grill from the truck. The stock grill insert is held in place by eight clips and eight screws. I started by removing the eight screws. Now you'll have six clips on the bottom of the grill and two on the top simply depressing the clip and releasing the grill insert until the insert is free from the surround. Here's a quick compare of the stock off-road grill versus the new 4th gen inspired Yodiverse grill. Installing the new grill insert is pretty easy. You just have clips now to hold it in, 16 in all. Just line up the surround matching up the clips until you see all 16 in line and start clicking away. Do a quick verify that all clips are seated. I opted to clean up some of the wiring for the Raptor lights and installed the wiring harness for those lights, leaving it just hanging off for now. I also reused one of the factory zip tie slots for the TSS sensor and placed a zip tie in there ready for the wire. You will need to remove the silver nut inserts from your stock grill and install them in the new TSS sensor bracket. Installing the grill is just the reverse of removing it. Slide it in and angle it toward the top to seat into the holes for the two bolts. Attach the two bolts and the two clips. 
I routed the TSS sensor into the new spot and added just three screws back in, one on the top and the two on the side, along with attaching a couple of zip ties and clips in the factory locations. I spent a good amount of time routing the wire harness for the Raptor lights and zip tied them all in place so they couldn't be seen. Now for the add a fuse. I pre-routed the wire harness and found that it was way too long and cut off about 18 inches of total wire. Once cut, I stripped and crimped on the Adafuse to the red wire and added a new looped connector to the black. Remove your fuse panel cover by depressing the three tabs holding it in place. And locate the 10 amp fuse labeled as H-LPRH-LO. Remove this fuse. You want to place the out of fuse in this slot. I opted to place a 10 amp fuse for the bottom slot and a 7.5 amp fuse for the Raptor lights in the top slot. Once this is connected, attach the black wire to the ground bracket on the sidewall of the engine compartment for ground. Now every time you turn your full lights on, the Raptor style lights will be on. I didn't want them running with the daytime running lights. Well, there it is, the Yodiverse 4th Gen Inspired TRD Pro Grill for our 3rd Gen Tacomas. I think it looks great and doesn't look like every other SR5, Off-Road, Sport, and Limited that have just upgraded to the existing TRD Pro Grill. It's unique, but factory all-in-one. It's easy to install with regular home-found tools. My only criticism would be the TSS sensor garnish should be a more subdued color to blend in more and not stick out. I know others have reached out to Yodiverse regarding this, and I'm sure they'll be working on a solution. If this video was helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Finally, my name is Rich. Thanks for watching.